Hey guys, welcome to SP Tales. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn this cool text animation. Guys, please watch my video till end. That will help us to monetize our channel. Now, let's jump to tutorial. Okay, so first we go to here. Select text. Inside this box, I type SP. Okay, so just zoom in there. I'm pressing SQ. Okay. Font, I'll take this one. Line, middle. Okay. Now, this is our text. Now go to here and select play. Clean I'll take 200 Y and uh, width segment I'll take 140 and height segment will reduce to 1. That's okay. Now we'll use this reformer. This one, spline bar. I put inside this plane. Okay, now see, select this spline bar and inside spline, select this text, drag and drop it here. You will get this kind of thing. Now select this plane. Like this line, wrap, and inside this size, like this, and this line size, drag it down, down. We'll make this kind of top. Now go to rotation. So like this vertex. Give bit nice rotation. Okay. Now go to the form and choose displacer. Put that displacer inside our plane. Go to shading, shade up, noise. See, click on it, make this fifty percent. Go down, contrast. See, I'll check seventy percent. And animation speed one. So you get this kind of animation. See, just increase the frames so you get nice animation. Take around 300. Okay, so if we'll just reduce this animation, I think it's too fast. So let's reduce to 0.7. Go back to frame zero. And click play buttons, you will get this kind of animation. Okay, now stop this, select this plane, and we do create and generator clothes surface. We need some thickness to it. That's why we are using this cloth surface. So select this plane and put inside cloth surface like this. Okay. Now see thickness. I'll take one. 
get and check budget okay now go to frame zero see you will get this kind of Select this close surface and press Alt and select this subdivision surface icon. We so get this nice smooth. Go to frame zero and hit play button. You will get this kind of animation. Just hide this line or uh, text line. Yeah. Okay. Now go to frame 0, select this flying block and see inside object properties there is 2. So what we can animate this like this. Okay, so at frame 0, add a keyframe, at 150, we get 100 and add key. Now go to frame 0. You will get this kind of nice animation. Cool. Now quickly move to smart Double click. First we'll make material for our SP. Hello. Nice pink color. And this thing. And luminance. Check. Fifty. And V. Reflection. Remove this one. Add a pattern. Inside layer panel. Dielectric. And inside preset to change this. We don't want any darkness, so let's make it zero. And just con hold control and drag. So you will duplicate you can duplicate this model. Okay, so double click on it. And we need a little dark pink color, so select on color. is fine. Luminance make this thing 62 and V90 is a little bit dark color. That's, that's okay. Now select this color, drag and drop onto our background. Select this color, drag and drop to our text. We'll add one light just to shadow Let's choose area right rotate it put in top of the text select this light go to shadow inside shadow choose a to shadow go to details Inside follow, inverse square, okay. this position and give a nice fall. Go to setting, metallizing, instead of geometry, select best. Okay, now just quickly render it. Let's see how it looks. Perfect. This nice pink text, smooth shadow, and nice reflection. If you want a little bright color, you just can see adjust the color from here or a luminance. So you get this kind of bright text. See, I think it's quite nice. We 
like this kind of nice animation. You can use it wherever you need, like you want text animation, you can add this deformer and get this kind of animation. In fact, if you want to use any any uh, any uh, uh, this line, you can use it. So there are see there are multiple lines. So if I select fly, okay, just get it down. More down. And instead of see select this line web, and inside this line now we are using text, right? But instead of text, we can use a flower also. So select and just drag it to here. This will apply to this line. And we will get this kind of animation. Cool, isn't it? So get into it. So that's it guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon of course. Thank you so much for watching guys.